Welcome, Vintage Gamers, to the first ever 8 p.m. Eastern Monday night Magic Online Vintage Preliminary event. That sounds really fancy, but it's just going to be like a small <laughs> uh, four-round, you know, 20-something player vintage event. These events are, you know, a little bit more important than a league, so they're, you know, people trying to practice, trying to, you know, work out their deck and get good. We're having a hard time speaking tonight. I don't know why that is. Anyways, uh, I have a cool deck for us tonight. This deck is um, Kevin uh, Subasta Cat's most recent take on the, you know, quote-unquote prison shops archetype. Uh, I believe they're calling it blue shops. I think Kevin did some work with uh, SO63 as well. Um, it is a, a Sphere of Resistance workshop deck that is not like particularly aggro slanted but it, it is somewhere between an aggro uh and a prison deck i am taking uh almost one for one uh the last list from the super rcq where kevin got like six two or something really strong um so I, I have not made any changes except maybe like a stone brain for something else in the sideboard i can't exactly remember um uh, so this deck is a little bit different, like it's a, it has Foundry Inspector to reduce costs, uh, but then it's playing this kind of, you know, Prison Shop's top end with four Metamorphs, I assume, to combat the, the Initiative Menace. We're still gonna play a Crucible of Worlds Wasteland package, and we are playing like a Golos and a Might Stone, uh, but the big deal here is we're splashing for Restricted Blue cards. Um, this is made a lot easier by the fact that you have the Initiative yourself with the Tome, and you can go get your basic island. Um, you will note there is no Ancestral Recall. They have cut Ancestral Recall from their most latest build. Um, the big reason is because it, it doesn't really you know, function inside the deck the, the way Ancestral is, like, typically played inside of blue decks. Uh, I believe Senpai put, like, a little, a little write-up that, that said it. Let's, let's just read that real quick. Uh, it's more so you don't convert cards the same way Blue Decks does. You are way more interested in playing a low-research game than, than matching card draw. As Kevin said, you only want to draw Ancestor later in the game. The cost of having an uncastable spell is pretty high. Uh, something about mulliganing, uh, getting tax on recall. Uh, and Kevin had answered, it's not great in a fast meta, and we don't want to play Island until around turn 3, and it can be weak to cast with Sphere Effects. Still good against Jeskai and other things, though. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you could play Ancestral in this deck and it wouldn't be, um, embarrassing, but I'm just gonna take their latest list and play it as is, uh, because I think it's an interesting take on, uh, an archetype that was struggling to adapt to the White Initiative metagame, and this seems like, uh, an answer that is not only fit for the current metagame, but also is excelling. Um, I think it's had some pretty, pretty solid results in the last couple weekends, so I'm excited to play it in this prelim tonight, and, uh, let's see how it goes. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. All right, welcome to round one of this vintage prelim. We are actually up against SO63, who has been working on this deck uh, with Kevin. So we are can, we, we expect a mirror, or at least very close to the same... <laughs> uh, close to the same deck. So would I keep this hand if I knew I was playing the mirror? I don't know. Because we do have a lot of mana, which is really nice for the shop's mirror. Uh, but I'm really lacking action. I think I'm going to keep it. I don't know, though. I'm no expert. My previous experience with Prison Shop's Mirrors was mana mattered quite a lot. We'll see what happens, though. Okay. We do have a Metamorph for their best play. The only way that goes wrong is if they have, like, a Karn. Ooh, a Saga. Hmm. I don't think I want to play Saga first. 
Because I think I wanted to deploy all my mana and also play a sphere. Uh, that does make me use my Lotus, but maybe I don't want to play a Sphere. If I didn't want to play a Sphere, maybe I would should have just played Saga. I just don't want to get this to get Wastelanded when it's like my current only threat. So if I were to Sphere them, things would cost two more and they have five mana. That doesn't feel like a, a good use of my Lotus. So, I am kind of regretting not going Saga. There's no Revokers in this list, right? That's kind of interesting. Right, well, I'm going to have six. Okay, so they have their own Saga. That's kind of problematic. Is there a Needle in them? Okay, so here's a... Okay, awesome. So now we can steal that back, the initiative. Um, And play our own Saga. I don't think I'm going to play out my Mana Crypt. Alright, I'm the initiative now. And I'm going to go get that island. And I'm just going to play my own Saga. Yeah, I'm going to hold the Mana Crypt here. Well, now I might play the Sphere. Because I have the initiative. Hmm. I don't know if it matters much. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to play this sphere. <sighs> what a game of Magic the Gathering we're having here. Yo, what's up, Robin? So if I get wastelanded, we are in deep doo-doo. Not good. I don't get wastelanded. It's not as bad. Is there, there's no needle in the main, right? There's no needle in the main. Okay, that's good. Uh, do they have their own metamorph for my uh, tome here? They're at eight life from ancient tomb and mana crypt is a good sign. Looks like they have their own metamorph. Okay, so they they have the initiative again. <sighs> it's not good. We could really like to draw some action here. Does this stick have manifold key? It does have manifold key. Oh, but it also has shadow spear. Man, this mirror is actually going to be quite difficult. I have to actually play good magic. <laughs> Can't have that. Uh, workshop, not a great draw here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I do think I have to play out my mana crypt now, uh, to try to help combat the artifact count on board. Should probably use my workshop. All right. So. There's a lot of problems right now, but the good news is what I can do is, is maybe make constructs, get a manifold key, and take back the initiative. They also have a mana crypt. I feel like they have to get their shadow spear. Uh, they're going to go to archives. I think they were should go to stash and get another get another creature i'm gonna oh they went to five so i'm gonna respond to the saga search by making a construct because i don't want to get caught out by a possible main deck needle in their new list they're not making another construct why would you not make another construct are they just assuming that uh, they're going to die to Manifold Key. They got their own Manifold Key. Oh, they got an Inventor's Fair. They're taking infinite turns and we're losing. Do they have enough mana to do that? Oh, 
Okay, so they have enough mana to do that, but they have a mana crypt in play. Mm hmm. And it costs, what, four to play? They do go archives. Hmm. I mean, they have a huge construct token. They have to play this pre-combat so that... All right, I just have to block, right? Doesn't really get better. All right, I think if I if they lose both flips, I win. They have to lose both though. Uh, they definitely should have went. Eh. Oh, they want to flip, so I think we are dead. Because they all they have to do is play an artifact. Hmm. All right, well, that's a pretty disappointing loss. They just drew Vault Key. Hmm. Hmm. Close game. Kind of play draw difference. Uh, I wonder if I won this game if I played my Saga on turn one. That's the, that's the big, that's the big play choice that I made in this game. I think I was wrong. It feels like I should have played Saga on turn one. I mean, they didn't have a Wasteland, so it got a little weird. But that was the big thing in this game was... Not play. That was like my one choice that I made. All right, so I think I want Golos, Worm Coil, Karn, Crucible. What the fuck does a Stone Brain do? Uh, probably not a Stone Brain. Definitely want a Needle. And then I'm going to take out a Trinisphere. I'm going to take out Sphere of Resistance. I'm going to take out Tabernacle. And I'm going to take out thorn of Amethyst. i'm just gonna take out all of this stuff that's actually pretty good mapping uh, i don't know why i'm surprised this is the shops people doing the shops thing all right uh two metamorphs two wastelands this is probably a keep Yeah, I all I can think about is not playing turn one saga in game one. That's like the really the only choice. Oh my really? Well, at least we'll have something to copy. <laughs> Sapphire time walk is Oh, come on. Oh my god. This is this is the this is ridiculous. That's that's such bad variance. Uh The sapphire time walk is the is the real kicker.
<laughs> uh, I think we're losing this game now. Like, Saga was not a problem with our hand when we had double wasteland, but when they cast time walk, we lost, <laughs> we like lost the game on the spot. Kind of brutal. What is this? Some might stone or something? Oh, a staff, a statue. It kind of feels like a bold play. Like, you don't think you need a Saga token here? I'm not really down with that statue line, to be honest. I think it's kind of bad. Like, I'm winning, right? I do think I probably need to draw another artifact, though. That's not good. Really bad for me. Maybe I'll draw a manifold key. Oh, is that attack? I guess I could lose a Crypt Flip. I lost my Crypt Flip. <laughs> I drew Manifold Key. <laughs> but it's not enough. Alright, so... I play a Manifold Key. I make one unblockable. I put them to, on a Crypt Flip. And I have a blocker. And yeah, that's fine. We're all about flipping games on Mana Grip right now. All right. Crip Flip. They won the flip. Now it's our flip. Uh, Attack both and untap. Yeah, I guess that's better. Oh my god, now they copy key and kill me. This is ridiculous. Come on. I feel like I got outlucked so hard in this game. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I should have attacked both and untapped. It does look better. Oh, I mean, I lost the die roll, and then my opponent went Sapphire Time Walk, and then greedily didn't make another Saga token. Shops Mirrors. I really think the only decision I would take back is the game one not playing Saga on turn one. I think that's the only, the only thing I would take back. I mean, obviously, the mana, the manifold key untap thing is whatever. That's fine. Um, and they just didn't lose any crypt, enough crypt flips here either. Okay, I mean, shops mirrors. Okay, here we go, round two, vintage prelim. I had once again lost the die roll. This time we're playing against Dredge. We do have a strip mine. I just don't know if that's good enough to beat Dredge. What do we have in our deck? We don't have a bog, right? I like that old prison shops used to have a bog. We do have a tabernacle. Uh, I just don't know if this is going to be good enough to win. We have a tinker that we can't cast. What would this tinker even get? I guess it would get Golos, which would get tabernacle. Is the tabernacle even good enough if we don't have any way to clear their graveyard, though? I don't really like this deck configuration against Dredge. I want my Jukabog back. I want my four Golos back. How do we beat Dredge? I, don't, I just don't think we beat Dredge. Like this, this main board does not look configured in a way to beat Dredge. We don't have a Tinker Sphinx or anything. 
uh, I don't know. I guess I'm keeping this hand because I don't know how we get it gets better, but uh, it looks really bad to me. Like maybe if they have no dredger in their seven card dre seven card bazaar keep. Uh, so they have a dredger, an Icarid, a ghoul, and a hollow one. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, I guess I can just play around trap. So play a jet out. I bet they have second bizarre too. I know wizard. This is an eternal weekend champion. Yep, yep, yep. Noxious revival. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know about this Prison Shops deck here. Uh, feel <laughs> Prison Shops, but loses the dredge? Not a fan. All right, so my opponent is going to be Icarating back two Amalgams on the next turn. And if they ever hit a Creeping Chill, they bring back three Ghouls. And they probably also still have a Force in hand. So I'm going to need to find that one Golos, which means we're going to have to be able to take her for it. We did hit another Wasteland. I think Wasteland is bad, though, because if we Wasteland here, how do we win? I guess if we don't Wasteland here, how do we win? Because uh, they can still bring back Icarid, two Amalgams, and then Dredge a Stinkweed Imp and still looks really bad. But we didn't hit a blue source, so maybe it doesn't matter. Because we can't really tinker. I think I'm just going to go... I can't even go Sphere Monolith. I have to go Monolith Sphere. Alright, I think this is my only way to win, though. So I'm going to go Monolith Sphere and then try to draw a blue source for... Um, Tinker, get a Golos, get a Tabernacle, and that's how we're going to try to win this game. Alright, so we're probably taking 7, 10, 13. And if they don't hit another Icarid or another chill then we can keep living okay so they hit a second Icarus, so we're actually dead now even if we were to hit blue source uh because they'll have two attackers Like this, we can actually beat this board, but we can't beat their graveyard anymore. Uh, I don't have a blue mana to go Volt Key. Wow, we almost we could almost go Volt Key if we had a blue mana. Uh, I don't know. This looks bad. All right, the good news is, our, hopefully, we have a sideboard. All right, our sideboard includes Soul Guide Lantern, the Stone Brain. Crucible of Worlds, Ensnaring Bridge, Golos, Worm Coil Engine, Graph Digger's Cage, Needle Tabernacle. I think I put a second Tabernacle on the board. I think that was the only change I made. Well, Chalice is bad. Tome is bad. Statue is probably bad. Mightstone looks bad. Um, hmm. thanks for making it. Karn is bad. Metamorphs are pretty bad. This looks like fine. Something like this. 
I could see like some differences, but that looks fine to me. I we still don't have a bazooka bog, which I kind of dislike, but I guess we have the one drops now. Uh yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Obviously, there are some issues with this hand, but I think it's better to play the needle. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's better to just play sphere. I don't know, actually. Because this lets me go sphere waste on the next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have kept it in thorn. I guess they do the same thing. I guess it's better right here, because I can play this Inspector. They hit the Golgari Grave Troll. Okay. Alright, well, they have a Thug, a Grave Troll, and an Amalgam. They dredge their Grave Troll, and they hit a Narc Amoeba, and it brings back an Amalgam, and they have a Ghoul and an Imp. And they have a second bazaar. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. I don't know why I bother. Okay. Um, man. This has not been a very strong night of vintage here. Ah, stone brain. Uh, I don't think you're doing anything here. Also, I can't cast it and activate it. So even if I were to like take Icarids out of their deck, which I think is the direction I would go here, it still wouldn't be good enough anyways. All right, cool. Well. I mean, I don't think I was mulliganing that hand. I don't know. So far, not impressed by this deck. But we haven't played against Mono White. Maybe that's the, the main matchup. All right, well, we're in round three. This uh, tournament has not gone very well. Um, this hand also is garbage. So let's try again. Uh, this hand is... I mean, it's Crucible Wasteland Lock, but we also lost the die roll for a third straight time. So... I don't know. What is this player playing? Sultai? Four color Archon. Their last result for, for Vintage is 2022. If it's Sultai, look at YOLO. Vintage has so few decks. I don't think I agree with that stuff at all. That's a very interesting... Have you seen, like, a Vintage metagame? Vintage has so few decks is not a way I would describe Vintage. No deck in Vintage is over, like, a 6% metagame share. Besides, like, in recent history, Mono White is a large metagame share, but, uh... What what are you talking about? There's a ton of choices. Like, sure, the choices gravitate around, like, strong magic cards. But, I don't know. I think Vintage has some of the widest playable range of any format. Yeah, I mean, Bizarre is one of the things you can do. <laughs> I mean, Bizarre is a very powerful thing. I I'm talking about deck lists that have unique identities like if you grouped all th all three unique bizarre decks into us into a monolithic pile sure now it's like 12 it's like 12 percent now like what is what is that like that's not a <laughs> you i mean if you don't feel that dredge uh hollow vine and uh hogak are unique archetypes and do unique things then i mean sure <laughs> I, I I guess so. I guess you're right at that point, but I, that just seems insane to me. All 
Uh, all right, so my opponent went Delta Go. I am going to go... I think I'm just going to play Crucible. I think it's just the most mana efficient play here. Yeah, don't you realize that if it's blue, it's all the same deck? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you interpret things that way, then you could totally make that argument, I guess. But... Uh oh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> that is a super bad sign. My opponent is not on bug. That's a demonic tutor. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, do you know how many cards different uh dredges from Squee? Can you can you give me an accurate guess, Blaine? Because if you can give me an accurate guess, then maybe I'll believe you. I sure hope this resolves. Nice. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if decks are 40 cards different, I mean, they're probably the same deck, I would say. <laughs> oh, boy. So, so the the control so a, a Jeskai control deck in Legacy is the same as a, a blue red Delver deck, because that's what we're arguing right now. <laughs> uh oh, is this a mentor? Why am I being bullied? <laughs> uh, I this is this is absurd. I'm being bullied. <laughs> I'm so dead. I guess theoretically I might be able to draw a tabernacle, but oh, that is a tabernacle. Okay, all right, new game plan. We got to wasteland lock our opponent and then tabernacle them. Oh, wait, also I get a monk. Is that good? Or should I just play another sphere? Hmm. 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 I kind of think a thorn is better than a mentor. Am I crazy? I think I'm going to go thorn. I mean, I kind of hope they have no more lands, but... Hmm. We need to, we need to, yeah, we need to get to a point where we can cast a Golos. Man, they had another land. It's really bad for me. Hmm. All right, I think we would need to draw like a workshop or an ancient tomb. I keep drawing this Tinker and it's so uncastable. It's crazy. <laughs> I, so far, I have not been impressed with this blue splash. I did get the Ancient Tomb, but I, I don't want my opponent to force my Golos, so I'm going to Wasteland one more time here. So if my opponent doesn't draw a land here, then I have an uncounterable Golos, and then they are stuck. Ooh, are we getting there? Are we doing it? Certainly looks like we're doing the thing. I definitely think that metamorphing the thorn was good. That seems like that was the game-winning play. <laughs> Yay, Justin did winning. It's always nice when I when I when I do winning. <laughs> Alright, so my opponent is playing maybe Esper Saga, maybe Esper Pio. One of the two. 
which are both distinct decks, by the way. <laughs> uh, ah, okay. Um, no null rods, huh? How do we board for this then? Hmm. What is the board plan? I don't I don't know. Is control and combo the same thing? <laughs> I think I'm being a little I think I've gone overboard. We're gonna we're cool down. We'll bring it back, bring it back, we'll play some magic. Too much. Uh yeah, a cage looks good. I agree. Shadow Spear seems pretty bad. Uh I don't really like Tabernacle in this matchup, but it worked really well there. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a Golos than a Tabernacle. Uh, the Deck Creator Cut Ancestral Recall. Uh, if you want to go back to the beginning of the stream, I, I talk about it a little bit. kind of want Needle for Sagamir. I don't think these metamorphs look super good, but they are additional spheres, which is nice. We do want to keep like one ofs in so that we can inventor's fair for them. I I have no idea what like the the you know correct board plan is. Not my deck. Let's try this though. I think cage needle makes the most sense to me. What does this hand look like? This hand looks like turn one inspector, turn two saga golos. That sounds not good enough to beat Esper Tinker. Let's try again. Uh, okay. This hand also has some problems, but kind of down. Yeah, no no rods makes me feel like you have a pretty hard time. Yeah, but what like how what am I supposed to do, Slasher? I'm playing shops. Like what I, I'm dead on turn one anyways. <laughs> well, this isn't this isn't Foundry Inspector past the turn. This is Foundry Inspector Wasteland, right? I think that is different, to be fair. But my opponent does have multiple oh, they're just gonna play around the wasteland. I love it. I mean, I think I uh, you can play shops. You should just play combo shops. Uh, I don't agree with you on that one, for sure. I think jewel shops is insane. I should probably have sequenced this in a different order, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, the seven-card hand I don't think was very good. I also think my six-card hand was not good. I agree. I think both the hands were not very good. I think this hand's fought, like, a, close enough. That's not a very good draw. All right, well, the good news is I can't, my opponent can't Saga Vault, so... Uh, Aggro Shops is actually kind of interesting because I like Aggro Shops' Doomsday matchup. Um, and there's a lot of Doomsday running around right now. So I actually think there's some room for Aggro Shops to be good. I am, uh... Like, I'm sure Aggro Shops can beat Mono White, right? If, Mo if Aggro Shops can't beat Mono White, then there's probably an issue, but... I feel like Aggro Shop should be pretty good into a metagame dominated by Mono White and Doomsday, so... Or not dominated, just, like, uh, to mostly about... What is happening in this game of Magic the Gathering? I have drawn zero cards that matter, and my opponent is just getting attacked by a 3-2, but has no blue sources. If it beats Mono White, then I think there's got to be room for it to be okay. Alright, awesome. God bless. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay. All right, we're we're doing a little bit of carrying on from the uh, the super RCQ. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that mono white deck. I think that deck is not very good. All right, well, now we're on the play, and I actually think we're pretty good on the play because we do have, like, Chalice and Trinisphere and a lot of oopsie wind spells. Uh... Ah, so close. So close. All right, this is much better. It might be better to put Crucible back and just go for Vault Key with Saga. That might take too long. In that case, like, we could go Crucible for, like, Wasteland Lock. Stripmine Lock, I guess. I'm just debating whether to put back Crucible or Time Vault. I think Time Vault makes more sense. So the real question here actually ends up being... Do we want to go Crucible, Crypt, Sphere? Or do we want to go Tome, Hope, Tome, Resolves, and then Sphere? I guess we could also just go, like, Golo, Strip Mine. But I think I want to play a Sphere this turn. I just don't... I think I'm going to risk the Tome getting countered. Like, theoretically, they really shouldn't be countering Tome as from their side of the table. But it's actually kind of bad for us if they did counter Tome, because we wouldn't be able to play Sphere. All right, well, now we can cast our uh, Tinkers that we draw. All right, well, we got a Sphere in play. That's a good start. We are still pretty slow. But hopefully the Sphere does something. See what happens. How much Moxin do you have? One Moxin, two Moxin. Oh, it's doomed. This deck needs Null Rod. I don't think this deck, I don't think you can play this kind of deck without Null Rod. Like the only way this works for us is if we have a Null Rod in our deck, right? I guess <laughs> if we're, if we're Sean, we could have a Tangle Wire. But I, I don't know how these kind of, like, more prison-oriented shop decks work without Null Rod to beat these full Moxin deck. All right, well, let's go venture into the Lost Well. See if we can find something good in there. A second sphere. Yeah, I probably want a second sphere. How much mana do I have? I have... Uh, do I have exactly enough? No, I'm one short. Hmm. Right? I cost six mana for Golos and three mana for Sapphire. I need nine mana. I have three mana, five mana, seven mana, eight mana. So I guess instead I have to go uh, Crucible Sphere. Or I guess I can go Sphere Crucible. I have plenty of mana. I don't think two spheres is going to be good enough here, but let's see what happens. Mana Crypt, too. This, if we just had Null Rod, the game would end. Uh, I don't think I want to go Archives. I think I would rather get a... No, a 4-1 seems pretty bad. 
I don't think I need an additional blue mana. So let's go down to Ard's Archives. All right, do I have enough to play both of these? Probably not, seeing as I have four, seven, eight, and this costs seven, this costs five, and then this costs six. All right, well. Um, definitely not supposed to get Saga, right? I'm supposed to get Strip Mine. I guess I theoretically could get Inventor's Fair because I have an active Crucible. If I get Inventor's Fair, I can go get a Graph Digger's Cage. Hmm. It's actually kind of close. I kind of like the idea, actually, of getting an Inventor's Fair here. I don't have an, a large amount of mana, though. But I can get, like, a Metamorph and get another Golos. I don't know if that's a good idea. I have Archives and Throne coming up. I'm going to go with my, my Instinct and just get a Strip Mine. See how that goes. I do feel like even though I have all of this stuff in play, I am at a disadvantage. The nice thing is this is a pretty good throne deck. We have Inspector, Lodestone, uh, Golos, Brexy Metamorph. A lot of hits. All right, is it finally time to play a spell? Are we tinkering for a Sphinx? No, we're time walking, okay. So they've been missing like a bunch of land drops, which is another reasonable reason to get Strip Mine, but they still have a lot of mana in play. I feel like I'm supposed to upkeep strip mine. No, that's worse than main phase strip mine because if they go for Hercules. I don't think my draw step is the right place either. Because I want to be able to float mana. So I think it's a main phase. All right, so now I get to go extra draw card. I think that's better than a uh, a four one because I'm trying to like lock my opponent out of casting spells. Yeah, if we had a null rod in our deck, we would fare for it, and that would be what I would do for sure. Um, I I I don't know how we can't play at least a null rod in our deck. Well, these draws were not particularly strong. I'm not really convinced with this deck configuration so far. Like, I really dislike the not having a bog. I really dislike not having a null rod or four. Like, four null rods? <laughs> I'd love four null rods, maybe. I think these matchups are really bad without Null Run. Okay, so they do have Hercules Recall. So this is perfect, right? So I can just do make all my mana and I then replay my mana. Yeah, this worked out super well. And now I don't even have to bring back the Strip Mine. I can just play my Workshop. Yeah, yeah, this worked out super well for us. So let's just do Inspector... Uh, I think we're going to do Inspector Tome. Because Tome hits Throne. Oh, maybe I wanted to play Golos before hitting Throne. 
Yeah, I maybe wanted to play Golos before hitting Throne. Hmm. Well, I guess now I just get a second Tome. Or I guess I could get a second Foundry Inspector. Does that save more mana? I just think I did this wrong. I think I should have waited on the Tome. Oh, but I can activate my Tome. So let's do another Tome. Why does my Tome have three plus one plus one counters and Hexproof? Okay. I guess it has three plus one plus one counters and Hexproof. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, um, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spin some of these tomes first. I don't want to spin them after I have a Sphere of Resistance. I, oh, I just need to make sure I have enough mana to cast two Spheres. So I have one mana, three mana, uh, so I have four mana. Uh, I guess I can use this Tome. Oh, but I also have the cost reduction, so... First one costs one mana, second one costs two mana. So I only need three mana after. So will I be able to activate? I still won't be able to activate Tome again. All right. So I think I'm going to see what I hit off this. I hit another Inspector. That's interesting. Oh, but I still don't have any more non artifact mana. Okay, so now I think we should definitely get Inventor's Fair. I don't know if my opponent picked a very good Hercules recall timing. Uh, this costs zero, this costs one, this costs one. So if I make two mana... I play this for one, and then I play this for zero, and then I play this for one, and I played all my things back. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't like my opponent's choice of Hercules Recalling. Um. Hmm. I'm not convinced we would have won that match with opponent playing. I mean, I don't know my opponent's hand, but I wasn't super convinced with the, op the opponent's choices. I'm not really sure we should be winning these games. Hmm. Interesting to think about. Tome is sick, though. I like Tome a lot, especially when my opponent's not attacking me. Okay, here we are, fourth and final round of this Vintage Prelim. Unfortunately, we are matched up against another Dredge Expert. Uh, we did win the die roll this time, though, so maybe we have a shot. Uh, our deck is not playable. Good lord. All right, well, let's try again. I'd really like to have, like, turn one Sphere into turn two Wasteland into, like, Golos or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, that's turn one God Pharaoh statue. That is pretty good. Yeah, I mean... Oh, we're still on this? If you can't appreciate, like, what goes into... Playing a Bizarre deck at a high level, then sure. <laughs> sure. Doesn't this hand lose to itself? I mean, this, like, what, what, we can't not keep this hand. I mean, <laughs> I, I, yes, I, I do lose every mana crit flip, but. Yeah. So, hopefully we're going to try to resolve a Godfair Statue on turn one, which is going to mean our opponent can't play any spells for the rest of the game, and then we're going to wasteland their bazaar, and then we have to hopefully draw something. <laughs> but this is great. 
I have Beerus as one of the single best dredge players on the platform, if not the best. Um, probably the best. So it's like there's Beerus and there's Wizard and there's um, the Japanese players. So it's XYZ and uh, Gur and no prop doesn't really play dredge anymore or at all. I would say, I th I mean, I think that Wizard has won more than Beerus, won more big things, but I think Beerus might be a stronger dredge player. I mean, I think we might have played, like, the two best dredge players on the platform in this prelim, which is pretty sweet. Not for us, but... <laughs> yeah, well, I think Beerus wins more... But like the things that Wizard has won are higher level or like you know has more accolades. I mean we can find it out. I don't know where Beerus is right now. Maybe they went away. I'm gonna tag them somewhere else and see if what they can if they're around. Is is Beerus in chat? No. Hmm. This deck this hand pretty easily beats a Wild on the Cuddle, right? Because Wild on the Cuddle costs three mana. All right, what are we talking about? All right, let's go. Let's go play around in the in the data board here. Uh, I guess I don't have individual. I don't guess I don't have individual dredge. Well, I mean they only play dredge, so I can probably just search them here and do a comparison, right? So if we do Lord Beerus. And then, oh, no, what I can do is I can just limit it to only dredge. Though that won't appear on the top here, but... Oh, I guess they've only, basically almost only played dredge. Wait, what? What is... What's going on? That doesn't look right. Oh, here we go. It's not that many results. Wizard plays a lot more though, right? Yeah, so higher win rate for Beerus for sure. All right. We're here, we're battling. Oh, not leagues, just, just challenges and, and PTQs and everything. Uh, I am gonna just put back this time walk because I'm never gonna be able to cast it <laughs> as per usual. All right, so I really do think we are gonna need opponent to not have um, mind break trap, force of negation, or force of will. But if their hand doesn't have that, then this seems like a pretty okay spot. They didn't actually hit any of their forces in their powder all right well, let's see if it resolves survey says nope all right well that means they only have four cards in hand so how many dredgers do they have uh no one dredger one hollow one two amalgams two cards in hand i probably need to draw something Mm, that's not something. All right, well, I think we're dead. Not much to say. I guess theoretically... Oh, they have a Noxious Revival. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go next. Yeah, I mean, I think Doomsday is the best deck in the format, Slasher, for sure. Makes sense to me. All right, we're going to bring in Worm Coil. Let's probably bring in Bridge. Uh, Stone Brain, Lantern Needle, Tabernacle, Cage. Uh, and then we don't want Chalice, Trinisphere, Metamorph. This looks like a terrible time walk matchup. Karn looks terrible. Tomes look terrible. 
Might stone looks terrible. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, I have a Karn, but we're bringing in all of our Karn hate, so. I don't even think Crucible is good. Like, theoretically, one, one Wasteland should be good enough, right? Uh, I mean, this deck is supposed to... This, they, they butchered this deck, Slasher. They took out all the cards that make these matchups completely free. I don't understand. I think this is a horrible build of shops. I'm not a fan. We're going to get murdered by a, a lot of things here. But, I mean, we're keeping this hand. No, the other versions of shops easily beat Dredge, though. All right, I got my time vault countered. That's pretty good for me. It's a really good outcome because now my cage should resolve. I probably am supposed to greed the inspector in as well. You have another force? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, I, if they don't have a vigor, they're kind of just locked out here. Oh, they have a noxious revival. Okay. But we have crucible. So that's not too bad. They have a. I think we're just winning, right? So I'm going to go make a construct. I'm going to go for mana... Well... Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have made a construct. I was just going to go mana crit, crucible, wasteland them again. But I could go needle or soul guide. Well, no. I'm definitely not going sapphire. I'm definitely going to go... If I'm... I like... If anything, I'm going to go, like, Black Lotus or Lodestone. I just don't think you need Lantern here. We have an active cage. They have one card in hand. I guess I could actually just play Lodestone, and that just locks them out of the game, right? That's even better. Well, no, then they could hit Hollow One, but that's fine. We can beat a Hollow One. Yeah, we should just play Lodestone. I guess I should play Mana Vault. No, 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 it's not necessary. If we just do this, they, they are stuck. Oh, everything costs less. I'm an idiot. I'm so bad at magic. All right, yeah, I should have just gotten Sapphire. I was wondering why you were saying get Sapphire. That's why you're saying get Sapphire. All right. I forgot about Inspector. Yeah, so this actually locks them out of the game because even if they were to play a Hollow One, we have a beat on board. So we, we want to play Lodestone this turn, and then next turn we can strip mine them. It's fine. That's why I don't think Crucible is actually good. Why did I cut Trinisphere? Who let me cut Trinisphere? Good God. We're only playing the highest level of magic tonight. I mean, it's chat's fault. You guys are my advantage. If I don't have you, I'm nothing. <laughs> this, is what, this is what Twitter tells me every day. Oh, I probably should... Well, the stone brain might still be fine, even if it's not hitting this. This hand looks pretty sweet, actually. You came here to learn? Un unfortunate. Lodestone could not be unrestricted. Stop that nonsense. Let's unrestrict Thorn before we unrestrict Lodestone. I'm okay with Thorn unrestriction. 
Another hollow one. Okay. What are we going to do? Six mana and a strip mine. I can play a Foundry Inspector and a Stone Brain, but I can't play a Stone Brain and activate in the Sphere. So. I think I'm going to play Mana Crypt Jet, or so I'm going to play Lotus, Mana Crypt Jet, Sphere. Sorry, Lotus, Mana Crypt. Hmm. Lotus, Mana Crypt, Jet, Inspector, Sphere, and then Stone Brain, and then Strip Mine them. I guess I could bait with Stone Brain. Hmm. Nah, it's probably better to just play Sphere. So there's a force, pitching force. I guess I could wait on the stone brain so I don't get mind break trapped. Is that worth it? I don't think that's worth it. Uh, yeah, they would have trapped the sphere. That's fair. So I don't think I'm going to activate the stone brain because I do think that strip mining is more important. It unfortunately opens me up to getting noxious again, but they did pitch a noxious, which means they might have a second noxious. But I don't really have like, like a counterplay, right? I could like technically I could hit Shambling Shell. I could play Saga, hit Shambling Shell. Uh, true, true. But then I would just get hit by Noxious Revival. So I don't think it's a very good play, Blue Man. I don't like that play. Does I don't think hitting Shambling Shell is the way I want to go about this game. I'm going to strip mine them. Okay, they didn't have a second Noxious. Uh, they dredged three, and they hit a dredge five and a chill. And they had second Bazaar. Okay. Fair enough. Second Noxious is real, or second Bazaar again. This is the second Dredge opponent who's had double Bazaar against us. I guess that makes sense that they would have double Bazaar if they pitch Noxious. Uh, kind of need to draw another strip mine, I think. Or Golos, maybe. And Force of Vigor? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, if I stone brain, do I choose as part of the cost? I don't. I can only do this as a sorcery. Oh my God. All right. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're dead. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, I could have held brain for sure. I didn't really think my opponent would have the capabilities to vigor me after using force, but. 
Uh, I that was a bad assessment. Okay. Oh my god, they hit triple chill on that dredge. <laughs> I'm dead on board. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I just got super high rolled. Holy shit. Like, if I had held Stonebrain, what would I even have done? They, they would have just murdered my mana crypt, and I wouldn't have had any mana anyways. Yeah. I don't know if I could have ever won that game. And I, I thought my hand was quite good. Beerus. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had to play Beerus and Wizard and they both just destroyed this deck is so bad versus Dredge wow alright so not a great showing for this, uh, this new edition of Blue Shops we got demolished twice by Dredge we beat Esper Saga and when we lost to oh the mirror the mirror um, I am extremely unimpressed with this deck's configuration, and I think the main reason is because it looks like it's heavily metagamed for mono white, uh, and we didn't see any mono white, so it didn't really make a lot of sense, the, the, the different additions. Um, I found Time Walk and Tinker to be a complete liability. We basically never had the mana to Time Walk or Tinker. And um, the changes made to the deck to make the deck better against Mono White just made it atrocious versus Dredge. Um, doesn't have enough Goloses, doesn't have a Bajuka Bog. Um, I really, really dislike that. Uh, and then I think that we're lucky to beat Esper Saga. I don't think our opponent, like, I don't know for sure, but like, I think opponent may, could, may have been able to play like uh, some stronger lines. And I think without Null Rod in the 75, I don't really know how you're going to beat that kind of deck either. Um, so yeah, not a, not a strong showing for me. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of pilot error there and maybe sideboarding error, but, um, yeah, not a good first look. I like the ideas in this deck, which is the bad part. Cause I really, I mean, I can see where this deck makes sense. I just, it might be the metagame has already moved past the point where this deck, this deck makes sense anymore. Like, as Mono... I mean, I say as Mono White continues to fall out of favor, Mono White was still, like, 20% of the Super RCQ metagame. But... Like, if Mono White is going to continue to fall out of favor in smaller events, like challenges and prelims, then I don't really see this deck being the way to play shops moving forward. I think you want to shift back into... Um into maybe a more traditional build or something. I'm not really sure. I, I'm not much of a a, a non-combo shops player, to be fair. I don't find it to be particularly my style of deck, and I think you do really need to win die rolls. We didn't win a lot of die rolls. We, we, but uh, even winning die rolls is going to be kind of hard to beat Dredge. Um, I think we had a chance to beat Beerus with our with our, with our our hand on the play in game one if, if he didn't have a force, because then we get to go uh, statue into Wasteland, but... I don't know. Even then, it's a, it's not, it's not a good sign. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna be interested in trying a bunch of um, shop decks coming up in the future because there's some interesting cards in uh, the Phyrexia Commander decks coming out. Uh, but for now, we're gonna, I'm gonna put this one to rest. I don't think this is my kind of deck. Uh, but if uh, you know, feel free to try it. Let me know what you think. These deck has been putting up very, very good results in challenges and RCQs, which is why we gave it a shot today. Um, and we'll see everybody again for next or for Wednesday, Wednesday night vintage stream. There is a prelim Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's a little too late for me to stream uh, the prelim, but I will be streaming leagues leading up to the prelim, um, like 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then, of course, new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday on my YouTube channel. I will see you then.